Hey guys, it's Sean back with another video. We're going to be still talking about AI. If you checked out my other video about Voila, one of our um, subscribers, Seth, put a comment on there and mentioned this one, Perplexity. I'd never heard of it prior to that comment. I checked it out and now here we are to talk about it. So the one thing that I loved about it, if you go to perplexity.ai, was that I could use it right away. As soon as I went to the website, I was able to do it. Now, a couple things stood out to me that was unique that I haven't seen in other platforms, um, which was the drop down here below the input box. So when we drop that down, there's different types of things that we can choose. So internet, search across the internet for information, academics, so you're searching academic papers, YouTube, Reddit, news for news articles, and Wikipedia for facts uh, as well. And then this one here for um, comp computational knowledge engine. So leads me to, to believe that I could choose these and get specific stuff from those platforms. So we're going to check it out. I've not done this yet, um, but I want to go in and prompt it and ask it um, if it could compile a list of top five YouTube videos. So um, compile a list of the top five YouTube videos for small business owners, teaching them the basics of digital marketing. Okay, let's see what it gives us here. Oh, before I hit this, there's this other option here for quick. So it's quick, concise answers, deliver quickly, and then you've got enhanced here, and it says 20 uses. Uh, it says for the hardest questions with, or yeah, for the hardest questions, for richer answers, powered by GPT-4, limited free uses per four hour sliding window. Uh, so obviously it, it will increase if you don't use it, but uh, you have limited choices for that. So I'm gonna use quick uh, for now, and we're gonna go ahead and search and see what it comes up with. Um, the other thing that I noticed is it's writing here and then it has related articles that are down here. So let's just see what comes up with this. Uh, perfect. So these should be also linked to the actual video. So let's click on this um, and see what it's going to do. Okay. So it puts the videos down below here and then we click on it. We get some more information about that person. So this is pretty cool. Uh, I like this. I like how it's working. Um, and the fact that it gives the previews here uh, for those five videos below the article, uh, which is really great. So, so far, I like it. What's this? Thumbs up, thumbs down, um, view detailed, view sources, edit query, so we can edit it uh, and work with it that way. Um, <clears throat> so, the other thing here, we've got popular on the left-hand side. We click on that and it's going to come back. It gives us the popular ones. Uh, your threads, so this must be, yeah, so that is the list of the ones that I've already done, so I can go back, and I think I can check right on them, yeah, and it brings it up, so it's kind of saving them for you. Now, when I went here, I, I joined for free, um, just use my Google login to set up the account, that's how it's remembering who I am. Um, now, for settings, avatar, pull in your name, username, your appearance, so it's got some, some options with that, but here's the other thing. There's an app to this, uh, and it allowed me to download. Now, I'm going to see here if I can quickly somehow share to my screen so you guys can see it. You should be able to see my phone here in a second. Perfect. There it is. Um, hopefully, you're seeing this uh, in the recording. So let me just get out of those settings. So here I am in the Perplexity app, and it um, looks like I can search. And the other thing I noticed there, there's a microphone, so maybe I can just do voice search. So let's see what comes up for this. Give it microphone access. Write me a LinkedIn post about the top five videos for graphic design. Go ahead and sit. Let's see what it's going to do. So I see it's queuing up there in the top right corner. That's pretty slick. You know what? I absolutely love it. I'm just going to get over that screen sharing. Um, so you get all the functions. So I'm going to go back here. Let's just go back to the browser. We're going to stop that mirroring. And let's see if it shows up in my threads. Let me refresh this. Okay, so it isn't. Now I wonder if in the app I didn't actually sign into my account. Um, now I don't see even in the app. Now you're not seeing this, but in the app there's no spot for me to actually... Um, yeah, so it looks like the app is independent of the desktop experience. I think that's a, a bit of a downfall there. I mean, it's not the end of the day, but if you're going between platforms, um, then no problem. 
Um, <clears throat> you could do other things like sharing if you're using a Mac, uh, now that you know the copy and paste is connected, so I can highlight all the text on my phone, copy, go to my computer, hit paste, and it will come into the document uh, for me to work at. But the fact that it's free, the fact that it has this, um, has these added functionalities, I think it's worth checking out. Uh, perplexity.ai, and I'm sure tomorrow there's going to be a whole new one that's out there, but uh, go ahead and check it out, free, it's going to get you started with AI. Mm -hmm.